now if you watch this please watch till the end so you understand the things i'm saying because when i produce videos people still come back and ask questions that i mentioned in the video this is a scholarship video and if you don't watch till the end you may not understand anything I'm telling you the truth, you may not understand. The first thing I want to say, I want to say some things now before I forget because you would be watching the video, I can forget. Make sure that any university you are applying to, if you intend to get this scholarship, it should be a public university. Secondly, make sure that the program you are applying to is taught entirely in English language. Thirdly, remember that this scholarship is per region. So you are going to be applying for the scholarship per region. I hope you understand. If you are an international student and you have been looking for a country where you can study for small amounts of tuition fee or probably for free, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to tell you a country in Europe that you are going to study for small amounts of tuition fee. Initially, you are going to pay at least one year of tuition fee deposit which amounts to around 2,800 euros, but you equally stand a chance to study for free in those remaining semesters or in other remaining semesters, depending on your program. Either you are studying a bachelor's, a master's or a PhD degree. So if you have been looking for opportunities to migrate and you don't have money, let's assume that you have less money, all right? This is a video for you to watch. But before I continue with this video, please do me one thing like this video and subscribe to our channel below all right because if you do so we are going to push through to 25,000 before the end of december and that is our target thank you so much for understanding so today i will be taking you to italy and we are going to talk about the university of turin all right this university is one of those important universities in italy i call it important because of the level of research and the quality of education now, if you intend to study in Italy and you are looking for a university that is very easy to apply, now this is for those who have been facing difficulties to apply for universities in Italy. Sit back, take a pen, open your phone or iPad or laptop and follow me as I go. We are going to do a four-stage application to apply for this university. But before we do the four-stage application, I want to draw your attention to the fact that there are just two bachelor's degree programs offered entirely in English language in this university, all right, this University of Turin. And the bachelor's programs include business and management, all right, and global and legal studies. These are the two bachelor's programs available entirely in English language at the University of Turin. Now, other programs include master's degree programs as well, and you can find a range of degree programs or a range of MSc programs all in English language. Now, before I come to how you are going to apply to this university, it is very easy to apply, okay? Now, there is something you need, which are the documents you have to upload all right as soon as you follow the procedure i'm going to give you because without the documents you cannot submit an application what are the documents documents number one depending on the level you are applying to either a bachelor's degree or a master's degree first of all let's take the documents for bachelor's degree now this is for those who are applying from maybe cameroon nigeria ghana south africa kenya or whichever country in africa asia or europe all right indians and pakistan you are included okay just follow me bsc students those who are going to be applying for bsc these two bsc programs i mentioned you are going to be using your basic high school documents if you come from west africa you are going to be supplying your international passport that is the first thing you are going to be supplying your WESE or YX certificate. You are equally good. Those are the high school documents. Or you are going to be supplying your NAPTEC certificate. And do not forget that you equally need the scratch card. All right. You need the scratch card number to apply to this university. The portal is going to open. Then these are the documents you need for bachelor's degree programs. Now, if you want to apply for master's degree programs, understand that you need to supply these documents alongside your bachelor's degree certificate and a bachelor's degree transcript all right it is not difficult to apply to this university the university of turin in italy 
Now, remember I said your tuition fee is going to be 2,800 euros, but there are a lot of scholarships like the Italian government scholarship you can apply for. There are a lot of, there is another scholarship called the Disco scholarship you can apply for. I have videos of all this on my YouTube channel and I shall be talking about them again as the admission seasons unfold. Now, let's go back to how you can apply to this university. The, the first application or the first means you can do or the first thing you can do to apply to this university is number one you go to your google on your system or your machine or your laptop you type apply.unito.it all right the unito like i said it is apply.unito.it the apply is a double p l y all right dot U N I T O dot I T. I'm taking it slowly because I understand a lot of us we don't know all of these things. There are some people who told me that they find it difficult to apply. Please, when you type that on Google, a page will open. All right, I will show you the screenshot somewhere here. A page will open, and when that page open, look at the top right corner, the top right corner, and change the language to English. When you change the language to English. All right make sure you are going to see two spaces either you log in or you register as a new student or a new candidate now the one you are taking is register as a new candidate when you take register as a new candidate you put in your details your date of birth your passport details your email address your uh, password and all the rest they are going to give you a code or a number you put in that code or number and you sign up to the website now, when you sign up to the website, you are going to find a lot of degree programs available for you, all right? You are going to see a lot of programs available. What you are going to do now is to check which program you can study, all right? You are going to check which program you can actually study in this university. You will find those two bachelor's degree programs I mentioned, which are business and management and global and legal studies. And you are equally going to find a lot of master's degree program taught in English language. Like I said, these are the documents you need. Now, I understand some of you will be asking me, am I going to supply proficiency in English? Am I going to use IELTS to apply? No, you do not need IELTS to apply to this university, okay? Italy does not really need IELTS from international students coming from countries where English is the first language or whose study had been conducted in English language. That is how it is. The name of the school is the University of Torino, all right, of Turin, or T-U-R-I-N, okay? So that is how the application is. After you get the admissions, they are going to send you the first letter, then you pay your tuition fee, and of course, you start your visa application. If you want to start your visa application, remember there are a list of documents you have to use to apply or to deposit your file at the Italian embassy or consular and these documents include what the documents you use to apply for your admissions at the university of turin that is the first document you are going to use for your visa application the visa application form remember when you go to the universities uh, to the italian embassy website make sure you follow the documents given to you for student visa or national visa d type okay other documents may vary but the student visa the documents remains the same now other documents like the international or let me say international insurance or the medical insurance is still the very thing all right it doesn't change i have been saying this a lot of times on this youtube channel that the medical insurance for italy you are going to pay it for one year now when you go to the italian embassy website you may find something like you need it for thirty thousand. you do not need to pay thirty thousand euros okay you just need to go to an insurance company and say the italian government wants to see that you have insurance policy equal to thirty thousand euros and they will tell you how much you are going to pay i think a day is like 0 0.01 something euros or something they will tell you how much you are going to pay in order for them to do you that medical insurance for the other supporting documents you need police character as well you equally need other documents like your educational certifications i have been talking about the list of documents here even proof of funds on what you need to study in italy i have said it on this youtube channel so all the videos are here please verify them and watch now when all those documents are around you gather them you book an appointment you go for your visa interview you pay for visa fee and you do your biometrics then if your visa is okay 
are going to call you and give you your visa. For those located in Cameroon, Douala, you can apply from the Italian consulate in Douala. All right, those in Yaoundé, of course, you can go to the Italian embassy in Bastos. I hope you understand. That is how the process to study in Italy is. There are a lot of scholarship, a lot of numerous opportunities in Italy for international students. If you come from Nigeria, then that is an advantage for you. All right, because Nigeria, Cameroon, Ghana, and uh, Liberia, Kenya, Ethiopians, and South Africans, they have the same the same qualifications or let me say they have the same procedures on how you can apply to this university so that is something you should know studies in Italy is not that complicated I shall be bringing a lot of videos to explain to you how you can study in Italian universities all right there are a lot of universities in Italy which include the University of Bologna the University of Saperazzi all right there are a lot of them the University of Napoli all right there are a lot of them out there so you should locate one and of course start the admissions but some of them you cannot apply using this method that i mentioned because you are going to go through universitali.com or dot se all right the main portal is universitali you must pass through that portal before you can apply to schools in italy i've been talking about this for quite a longer time now so it is now left for you to decide where you want to go study in italy if you decide to go to bologna then that is fine all right but know that this is how you are going to apply to the university of turin it is not difficult to apply all right i hope this video helps you please if you haven't subscribed do now to subscribe below all right there are a lot of videos that may drop and you will miss them because i have a bunch of them a group that i'm going to be releasing back to back please subscribe to the channel so that we move forward till we meet again in another one